lab has been really pursuing how DNA structure is being altered and how that in turn alters the drug-resistant states of cells. Our work is linked to drug-resistant lung cancer and that's the question we're asking and addressing. We received the Lung Cancer Discovery Award from the American Lung Association and that's how we've become affiliated with the ALA. One of the fundamental problems in the cancer field is that we don't understand really what are the what are the fundamental mechanisms by which the tumor cells become drug resistant. So I think with the uh, ALA Fellowship, it, it, it has greatly helped me to uh, attack the questions very early on that are very risky in nature and also to move my projects forward. The big question that we're asking is, how can we understand drug resistance? We know that your DNA content itself becomes changed um, in drug resistant disease. We're very interested in understanding, is that, a, is that a process that's regulatable? Is it controllable? And what our work has done is uncovered a new mechanism that is allowing cells to select a piece of DNA which has genes in it that protect them. And so what's happening in lung cancer, breast cancer, other cancers as well, is that this region is selected, and when they're selected, what happens is the cells gain those genes that will protect them. The American Lung Association is allowing us to ask a very important question centered on lung while allowing us to develop an understanding that will impact many cancers without support from foundations, without the American Lung Association, without that type of support, we can't do the science we do.